Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the House Party app on your mobile devices. This will work with Android, iPhone, it's going to do the same type of process for any kind of device you're using. So this is going to be like an overall, uh, kind of glossing over everything, telling you all the different things you can do within the House Party app. I do have other videos on my channel where I go more in depth about specific things, uh, like how to share screen, etc. Like that, how to uh, screen record. Things like that. So if you want to know specific things, uh, there's a how-to uh, playlist at the end of the video for the House Party app. So you can do specific things there if you're looking for that. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be uh, kind of glossing over everything. So first of all, uh, you're going to get to this screen when you first open the app. Uh, so if you want to invite someone to a chat, you can click by the name, the little hand thing. Then it will say awesome, uh, sent. Uh, so if they want to invite them to the chat, that's how you do that. If you want to call someone, you want to click on that little uh, green uh, phone thing there. And if you want to stop the call, click on the X by uh, that call there if you don't want to actually call them. Or you can go through. And it will say you can also leave a face mail to them or not now, uh, depending on if you want to or not. So the different type of options with that. And you can actually click on the person's name. Uh, then you can also call them like that, say hi, uh, leave a face mail. Or we can just send them a message. Uh, so for example, just like send a message right here. And you can't actually delete messages once you sent them on uh, the House Party app. But even though I have seen some people trying to search that up, but it isn't possible to search it. You can copy and paste the message, but that's all you can do. Uh, also, uh, you can click the little uh, cog there, which is going to bring up the settings for like, each individual chat. So you can uh, ghost someone, so they're basically like, appearing offline to them, but they get notifications, etc. From that, you can see what it says there. So you can click got it to that if you want to. And then uh, other things you can do, you can also like unfriend someone through clicking that uh, a little cog thing right there or you can like block them either send you like a hateful mess wherever you can also report them through that bit you can turn notifications off for them uh, so that's the for each individual chat you can go through and do that and click got it you can also uh, obviously uh, click it again and then it goes back to normal if you want to like maybe for like a specific amount of time you don't want to get a notification for someone etc so that's what you can do for that part then if you want to get off this part to get to the other bits in the menu so you just have to like kind of click off and uh, not on like the little there uh, the square slash like rectangle thing uh, where it is to kind of get to the uh, like the main menu if you want to. So you're going to go ahead and click on that tab part. It's going to be to each one. So you click once there. It's going to bring you back to this house party thing. Uh, then you can click on it again. It's going to bring you to like your camera. Uh, so this is basically uh, going to be the same thing when you're in like a call with someone or by yourself. You can do all these things right here. So this is it. So first of all, we're going to like start looking at the bottom there. You can click on the three little buttons in the corner. You can disable the camera, record a face mail, and share the screen. I have to have individual videos on how to share the screen in a bit more detail. Because that's a bit more technical. I don't want to have this video going for too long. So if you want to see that video, you can go see that. You can also um, turn the screen around uh, of the front facing camera and the... Uh, the back facing camera there, you can do it like that. You can also lock the room, which basically means that other people can't join in the chat that you're in, whether it's by yourself or with other people. And you can click it again to unlock it. You can mute the microphone as well by clicking that little microphone button there. Uh, so that's how you do everything at the bottom there kind of thing. So uh, next we're going to go with uh, how to play games on the app. Uh, so they see the little uh, two little dice there. Uh, the, you can click on that and then you can uh, play different games. So the first one here is the heads up. Uh, so all these ones here down here though are actually paid. They're about around about a pound uh, in English currency. Obviously, it would depend on the which currency it is. The one at the top uh, is going to be free. I'm pretty sure that you can play, uh, but the rest of them are going to be paid there. So do uh, keep that in mind. And then you got the trivia. So you got all these different types of things with the trivia here. All these different things you can do. Uh, you can click on them. You can play them alone if you want to do them for whatever reason alone. And you can also invite people to it too. So uh, you can go through here, click on them. Invite it'll be like uh, which was 10 questions for each of them uh, So you can do it on that and then you can also uh, click on uh, each of the things uh, Like for instance uh, chips and guac is like the, the other one you can do you need uh, some people some of these that are different things You can uh, you will need a friend so you can uh, invite someone to a game uh, just by clicking the little uh, like wave icon thing and it's gonna like say hi to them Then they're gonna be able to join the game through that way So I think with chips and guac you can only play that with two people uh, and then also the quick draw, uh, you can kind of draw by yourself or you can um, uh, invite other people in. Uh, so you can like kind of draw like this type of thing here. You see all the options in the bottom there. So you can like share screen so they can see what you're seeing. And you're able to see all the things that are going on in the bottom uh, right hand corner on each of the uh, uh, the screens right there. So you can like, also end the game by clicking the X button in the bottom right hand corner to uh, end the game. And then in the top right hand corner there, you've got the plus little button, you can click add new friends, invite new friends, uh, 
You can invite the friend to the call by clicking on them, uh, kind of getting that tick there and said invite to the room. And they can also type in a friend's name like this, like maybe for someone you haven't um, added yet or someone that's in your friends level is pretty big. You can also add friends by going to that part there and you can add them uh, by name, if you know their name, from the contacts on your phone. Uh, from Facebook, uh, from Snapchat also as well. So if you've got anyone added on like Facebook, Snapchat, all the type of things, uh, you can add them through that. You can also copy your profile link, then message someone so then they know your profile to add you through that. So that, all those type of things you can do with that. And then you click on the top left-hand corner there. Uh, then you can click on each of your friends there, for instance. Uh, you could do the same type of thing you can do on the other ones. Uh, through clicking the, uh, the friends option there in the top little uh, left-hand corner where they are. Uh, the kind of cog icon is you can go through here, turn off notifications for specific friends, etc. Uh, specific things you go more more in depth with um, uh, the notifications within here. So if you're gonna want to avoid certain notifications, you can do it in this little place here. The settings thing is basically once you get to this friends thing, click in that uh, little pink uh, cog in the corner there. So that's for the first part. So you can uh, once you get to the settings thing here, it's going to be the main settings page. Uh, you can get to like this edit profile thing here. You can uh, change uh, like your profile picture by clicking that little plus button there. You also connect your Snapchat, and then also your picture will turn to your Bitmoji. So if you connect your Bitmoji to your Snapchat, and then you connect to the Snapchat, then your uh, Bitmoji will be your profile picture, or you can just have it normal like that. And you can also change your your email, their full name, a uh, username, etc. Like that. You can change it as many times as you want within that little thing there. Uh, you can go change your permissions too uh, by clicking that permissions bit within the settings. So you can like uh, connect contacts, notifications. You can turn them all off all in one go. And every location, the camera and mic. If you want to turn that off for whatever reason, you can click on those things right there. And then you can also click private mode, which is basically going to be like uh, appear offline uh, type of thing. Then you can click enable private mode if you want to do that. That's going to be like your appear offline things. So that means no one will be able to. Uh, Get in your call uh, if you're in, by, by yourself or with other people. You can save your face mails to your uh, to your camera rolls so if you want to like have a face mail on one thing and send it to like another app. You can do it like that if you want to, or to save it in general. Uh, you can uh, click on the what's new thing. Uh, this is going to go a bit more in depth about all the different type of things you could do on it. So if you're interested in it, again into any more depth, this is the part that you're going to want to go to. I'm not going to go too in depth about this part because I want the video being like 30 minutes long so uh, going to the next one is the house rules so if you want to go a bit more detail about each type of thing like calling, friend of a friend, muting, notes, sneak into the house, private mode, waving, we time, what is house by, all those type of things explain in a bit more detail you can go to this thing here if you're unsure of anything and then uh, if you want to log out uh, then you can go to the bottom there click on that and then click log out and you can log in, back in uh, once again if you want to do that and then you've got the privacy policy here, and not many really people are too interested about that, but I just scroll through here. And then you're about to see all the things, so if you're interested in that. Uh, but then once you're done with that, it's going to bring up a web page. You're going to want to click done in the top left-hand corner there. And then if you want to delete your account, you can click there, delete account there, and it says that I sure you want to delete your account. You can never get it back. Uh, you click yes, but you can obviously create a new account, uh, probably with the same name, because that one will be deleted. So you just say never, but it's not really that uh, big of a deal, in my opinion, the way they uh, put never like that. Uh, but if you want to also, uh, if you want like, to delete your account, uh, make sure uh, you uh, like, delete the app as well within your like, iPhone or Android like this. Uh, otherwise, the, um, otherwise, the app will still stay there, but it won't be logged in. So if you want to delete that, you can just click delete like that. And then you can uh, come to the back to this page right here, and then you can connect your Facebook like this. Sometimes your Facebook, Snapchat all appears there if you want to do that. Uh, currently, I've locked the room, so we can go back and unlock that. Or we can click in the top left-hand corner there, and then now uh, make a face uh, mail like by doing it like that. So you can introduce some face mail. This says face mail lets you uh, uh, do that all the type of stuff there. And then you can kind of use this camera just like a Snapchat camera, so you can like hold the little circle button in in the middle there and then record a video or just uh, take a picture by clicking it once and then go to the inbox in the top right hand corner there and see all your messages for wherever you can message people through uh, this type of thing to do new notes so that notes and messages are the same type of thing so you go through and do it like that and also there's a few other things by clicking on the top right hand corner there and you kind of bring up um, bring friends here so you can uh, kind of invite them through that way there's a few different ways of doing each type of thing, uh, so it's pretty simple. Hopefully, I've kind of kind of covered everything uh, within this. Uh, hopefully, uh, I did actually cover 
everything you want to know. If there's anything you do want to know else, leave it in the comment section below and I will answer your questions if I can and I know what to do with them. Uh, also, on the screen, it's going to be more how to videos on this if you want anything specific uh, in depth. But leave, leave a like on the video if it did help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on the, on the screen to see more how to videos similar. But that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video.